child gets out <laughs> doing something wrong, you know, they've been they've been doing it all along, and then all of a sudden the mama catches them at it. Of course, at that moment of being caught, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But the whole they've been doing it the whole time, and I don't put much weight in my kids' apologies when I'm when I'm on them real hard and saying you just done this. I don't put much weight in that, but when Aaron will come to me two weeks later and say, I'm just using it for an example because he's done this, and say, Mama, I'm really sorry I disappointed you about that. Uh, and I, I, I'm truly sorry that I've done that. And I know it disappointed you. Then I put weight in that apology. And and he gets my he gets my I say, I forgive you, son. I know I know you I'm tr- truly sorry. That's that's the way I look at it. God yeah. knows the difference between a true apology and a hug. Like, just Perfect. like she's talking about a kid, and you say, they want something, and you say, no, you didn't do so, and so, oh, I will, I promise I'll never do this exactly. again. You know when they're just wanting something else. Well, there was a man that told me the real, he said, I, I thought of just waiting up, I, I, you know, when I find out I'm going to die, and get yeah. back, and Bill's advice to him was, don't try it. No, but I heard I ain't Oh, well, see, God knows your attention. If you, I ain't what you're saying, he knows that. Don't he? Well, there's one thing I'll always remember. You might die uh, before you get a I'll always yes, remember to the day I die. We was buried in some of my temple. Uh, and it was out at the graveside. And one of the men said, I believe it was soldiers on the battlefield. He got shot. And on the way following, he said, Lord, forgive me. God would forgive us. And I thought about that, and I thought about that. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. Another thing, too, on the children, when they do something, it's very important that we punish them then. That's right. I don't care how much you don't want to, do it. Yeah. Even though they say they're sorry, even though they say this, punish them. Mm-hmm. They got to be punished. Yeah. I don't mean abuse them. Punish them. Yeah. Take something away from them. Yeah. Take the privilege away from them. You know, I, I just wonder, a lot of times, myself, how many times God took the privilege away from me? Oh, me, yeah. me. You ever thought about that? I don't believe it. When we get this little, little bit out of, out of line, I'm not talking about going ahead and whip and sin. We get a little bit out of line, we get that, you know, we, we don't walk like we're told, we don't act like we're told, we don't do what we're told. God takes privilege away from us. Yeah. Privilege that he would have given that we might we will never see. Because he loves you. You know, when I went back out in the world, I was in the world, and I kept thinking about that and telling me that I asked him years ago. I'm so glad I asked my dad that question. And I thought, I know better than to live like this. I know where I need to be back in the <coughs> And I wasn't happy. Well, it's just And we know fact, better and don't do it. Just the fact the devil's kept putting it out there, look at the fame you'll have. Uh, look at the glory you'll have. Well, I turned it down. That's and I'm right. going to tell you the part. You may not be around, but you have to turn it down. That's what, that's what me and Mom was talking about. Just, the fact of the matter is, people, the, the main thing is we have to live the You know, the Bible says no man lives with himself and no man dies with himself. We live with what he does with us. But we have to live for God. We have to follow his instructions. And I'm going to tell you, it's like they say the V I B O E is the basic.
God bless you this morning. Let's build you and we'll see where else we're going. Anybody got anything else they want to say?